Now, you can't, you can't really think about the internet, of course, without thinking about Google, right? And for Google, what we have on our phone, working with them, is, of course, Google Search. We have that built right into the browser. Just type what you want, hit Google, and you're off. And Google Maps. We've been working very closely with them to make this all happen. We're thrilled with the results. And it's my pleasure now to introduce Dr. Eric Schmidt, Google's CEO. Congratulations, Steve. What an incredible job. So Steve, uh, you know, I, I've had the privilege of joining, joining the board, and there's a lot of relationships between the boards. And I thought, uh, you know, we, if we just sort of merge the companies, we could call them Apple Goo. Um, but I'm not a marketing guy. Um, what I like about this new device and the new architecture of the internet is that you can actually merge without merging. Uh, Steve says that each company should do the absolutely best thing that they can do every time, and I think he's shown it once again today. And internet architectures, right? Um, inter internet architectures allow you now to take the enormous brain trust that is represented by the Apple development team and combine that with the open protocols and data services that companies like Google and the others represented that are coming up in, in a bit to actually put them together in a seamless environment for end users. What I particularly like about this is it's the first time it's all to come together in one place. Now, from a Google perspective, what we've done is we've pushed very, very hard to partner with others, and in particular to partner with Apple, the companies, the cultures are similar, innovation, having fun while you're doing it, and also working with many, many different data services. So Steve showed a little bit of some of the components, some of the pieces and so forth that you can do, but understand that this is a set of data that's from maps and partners and so forth, so that you really can get the full integration. The person doesn't understand how, how hard it was to get it all together. It comes together seamlessly. From my perspective, this is the first of a whole new generation of data services where these powerful-based cloud computers, Google being, we hope, a leading representative, provides HTML, XML, and other sophisticated services that the Safari browser that's embedded in the iPhone and many other of its type devices and future devices out of Apple will be able to take advantage. Steve, my congratulations to you, and this product is going to be hot. Well, thanks. Thank you very much. As a board member, you'll get one of the first ones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OK. 